Data shows that the big rise in carry permits coincides with a huge drop in violent crime. Over 11 million Americans can now carry a 146% jump over 2007, as both murder and violent crimes has dropped by 22%. Now, you could say more guns mean safer streets, but that's called a hate fact. It's a fact the media hates because it shouldn't be true. <laughs> A hate fact. I like that. Uh, joining us now to talk about this is Grover Norquist, president of Americans for Tax Reform and, of course, influential sure. D.C. Uh, insider type person. Hello, Grover. Good to be with you. Well, good to talk to you. All right. I, and, and you agree. I mean, you, you, you agree that it's these increase in concealed carry and the concealed carry laws uh, that uh, have been responsible for the crime rate decline, not uh, the, uh, necessarily the mass incarceration rates, correct? Exactly. Interestingly, there's been a question, why are we seeing a secular decline uh, in violent crime? Uh, perhaps it was mass incarceration. Well, in point of fact, the mass incarcerations had less of an impact. It certainly helped in the 80s and uh, in the beginning of the 90s, uh, we're seeing it have less impact, and people wonder, what is it? Are we all getting older? Was, were all the bad people aborted 20 years ago? I mean, there are 12 different things people throw out. Staring them in the face is data that s we first knew in the 90s when John Lott, the uh, economist and, and social scientist, did a study of all 3,000 plus counties in the United States and found that when you got a con shall issue conceal carry, in Florida, the first state, every year that you moved out, meaning more and more people decided to get concealed carry permits, murder dropped 3%, robbery dropped 2%, rape dropped 2%. And as we've moved along, there are a lot fewer murders, rapes, and assaults, the kind of crimes people don't commit because there's another person involved, then they might have a gun on them. We're now up to 40, and that was back when 31 states had concealed carry permits. Now 41 states have shall issue, meaning they must have it. Some do may issue, my home state of Massachusetts. We may give you one, we may not. Still, a quarter of a million people in the Bay State, Massachusetts, have concealed carry permits. This reduces violent crime. People don't break into houses if they think you have a gun. They don't carjack because you might have a gun in your car. Uh, we've seen crime drop as concealed carry, not only gun ownership, owning a shotgun in your house, but the concealed carry permit that means the woman somebody might want to rape or rob might have a gun in her purse. And it slows down that thinking process and criminals are, are not committing as many violent crimes, murders, rapes. This is tremendous progress and it's only the left's blinders, as, as you opened uh, our interview with, they don't want to hear it, they don't want to know it, but we should know it as Americans because there's still some states that restrict concealed carry. And 11 million people, now if there are 200 million adults over the age of 21 in the United States, 5% of the American people have a concealed carry permit. That's one out of 20 Americans. There's six, 700,000 police in the country, 11 million people with concealed carry. Who's going to be the first responder if you have a problem. Hopefully it's you, right. because you have a concealed carry permit and a gun. But second most likely is a family member, a neighbor, a co-worker. And uh, this is tremendous progress, and we ought to be aware of what's causing the drop in crime and keep moving forward. Yeah, absolutely. And you refer to John Lott, uh, uh, more guns, less crime. I mean, I've been talking to him for, I guess, 20 years. And uh, yeah. also he points out, you know, this, this, if you listen to the Charles Schumers of the world, and he has basically literally said this over and over again, uh, you know, if you, if you arm people, you give them a right to carry, you're going to have the wild, wild west. They're going to shoot each other over parking spots, shoot each, over, shoot, shoot each other in the bars, shoot each other here. And that just doesn't happen. That's another aspect of, uh, of the right to carry. It, it doesn't turn into the wild, wild west. Well, actually, some of the wild, wild west was fairly well behaved because people had guns. Right. <laughs> Very uh, good the point. movies are more exciting <laughs> when, they, uh, uh, when they characterize it. But the left first said, if you allow concealed carry, uh, substantial amounts of concealed carry, there will be these shootouts. That never happened. 
So now they've retreated from all their original claims slash lies uh, to, well, we don't know if it's the reason for the drop in crime, not the increase of crime, the drop in crime. John Lott's work, the book he did, More Guns, Less Crime, the studies he've, he's done really do show you state by state as you have more people with concealed carry Absolutely. permits. Uh, and even you can measure how easy it's to get a concealed carry permit, how much does it cost. When you make it easier, crime goes yep, down absolutely. faster. Absolutely. Great, great, great conversation, Grover. Thank you for taking up this, uh, this uh, cause, and I appreciate you coming on. Thank you. And we'll be back. Don't go away.